Let us talk about growth rate now. Growth rate is defined as growth per unit time. Per unit time. That means in that unit time, whatever growth has taken place is considered as the growth rate. And we talk about two types of growths. One is arithmetic. And when we are talking of arithmetic, we need to understand what exactly is happening here. To understand in what happens in arithmetic growth, if it is seen in case of plants. Say, we start with one plant cell. And this plant cell undergoes mitotic division. In mitotic division, there are two cells which are obtained. So now, there would be two cells formed from this one cell. Out of the two, one continues to divide and other cell gets differentiated. So this cell will get differentiated and it will form the structures like uh, the parenchymatous cells or other specialized. So right now, there is one specialized cell and one cell which is going to undergo merest, uh, sorry, this mitotic division. So let us say this is the specialized cell and this cell again divides one more time. So now when this cell divides, this is going to form two cells and this cell is pushed here. That means this was already there. Out of the two new cells formed, one will keep dividing and this will get differentiated. So now there are two differentiated, so or differentiated cells. So if the structure say height of the plant. So if it was becoming taller, there is one cell which is helping it in its height. Now there are two cells. Let us see what happens next. This cell again undergoes mitotic division. So this will form two cells. This is cell one, this is cell two. They are already shifted towards this side. So this is cell one, two, And now the two cells which are formed, one will undergo division and this one will get specialized. So now there are three cells. So how has the size of the plant increased? There was one cell, then there were two cells, then there are three cells, then there would be four, then there would be five, then there would be six and so on. So every time the size increases is only by addition of one. We have just taken one cell, but if 100 cells are uh, multiplying, then also the pattern is going to be same. This means that there is a gradual increase in the size. If a graph is plotted uh, between time in which this growth is taking place and say height of the plant. One cell, so it is say this much height, then it will get double. And again, again, again. So there is going to be a linear graph which we would get, get because the cells are increasing at a very gradual level. So here the graph is a linear graph. And to calculate this type of growth, the formula which is given is LT that we will write down what LP means is equal to L0 plus rt. L is used for length of the plant. We can take height, we can take weight, whatever. So lt is equal to or it means that length at time t or after time t. L0 is length at initial time or it can be taken as zero time. R is the rate of growth and T is the time interval between which you are calculating the growth rate. So it is very easy to understand. One cell is undergoing division every time it divides because the division is mitotic, two cells would be formed. Only one cell 
keeps dividing and the other cell formed in every division undergoes specialization. So if we can compare it from here also. There was one cell, now there are two and three and so on. So when we plot it, we get a linear graph. Such type of growth is known as arithmetic growth. The next type of growth is known as geometric or geometric growth rate. In this case, the cells which are divided, they start dividing by the same method that is mitotic division. And here two cells would be formed and both these cells, they divide. So when this and this, they divide, this would give rise to two cells and this would give rise to two cells. So in one division, the number doubled. Next division, the number got double of the original number. So here there are two cells, here there are four cells. And if all these cells divide, the number is going to be 8, 16 and so on. And the difference is, here also there was mitotic division. Here also there was mitotic or there is mitotic division. The difference is here out of the two cells formed, only one continues to divide and the other gets differentiated. And in this, all those cells which are formed as a result of division, they continue to divide. And that is why the growth pattern is slightly different. When we plot the graph, same. Time and the height or number, then initially it is going to be slow because the number is increasing. After this, it's going to be 32, then 64. So the number suddenly starts to increase. So initially it's going to be slow, then it increases at a very fast rate. And after some time, some factor would become limiting. And we know the limiting factor or the factor which is in least concentration decides the rate of growth or any process. So here the growth would come to a steady state. The graph is S shaped and it is known as sigmoid growth curve. And this growth curve is divided into phases. The first phase, which is a slower phase, is known as lag phase. The phase where the growth is very fast and we see a steep increase in it, in the graph, is known as log phase or exponential. And third, when the growth rate becomes pretty much steady, then it is known as steady phase. So this type of growth or growth curve, it shows three distinct patterns. Initially, there is slow growth, then there is exponential growth. And after some time, something, something becomes uh, limiting and so it attains a steady growth rate. Now to calculate this, uh, the formula is WT is equal to W0 into E R T. Now let us write down what exactly we mean. Here W is taken as the weight. We can take anything. Height also, length also, anything. So W0 is equal to or it is the actual final, uh, sorry, the size at initial time. WT is size at time t or after time t, r is growth rate, t is the time period that is from 0 to that time period in which we are measuring the increase in size and all. And last thing that is this e is the base of natural logarithm. So this is how we calculate the geometric growth. So there are two formulae, one for geometric growth and this is for the arithmetic growth. The difference is that here 
out of two, one cell keeps dividing, one gets differentiated. And in this, all the cells which are formed, they keep dividing. So when they calculate the growth rate, we get two types of growth patterns and these are the two formulas.